Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my Learn Scratch channel. And today, I'm going to show you how to make a firework project in Scratch. So, you know what fireworks are? They uh, get launched up in by hills. Like some cannons are on the hills, and then they launch up the fireworks and they shoot up in the sky. So, we're going to be making that today. We don't have to do the actual cannon, but we can just make the fireworks. So, um, actually on my account, and um, it's sb-star, and now I'm going to show you the original project when I made it last time somewhere. I just saw a tutorial, I just researched a tutorial, and then I searched for that, and then I came to that tutorial, and then I watched it, and then I saw the fireworks. So we're gonna be making that today. So as you can see, when I go to my profile and view all my projects, here are all of my projects that I've created. Oh my gosh, I have 707 projects. Can you believe that? Okay, anyways, um, where's that project? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay, so as you can see, um, I'm playing the project. Yeah, we're going to be keeping making them like shoot up in the sky. So how do we do that? Well, um, first we have to get to the fireworks um, sprite. So I'm going to go ahead and download this firework and I will be right back. Okay, guys, so sorry to say that I can't upload it. Boo, hoo, hoo. But we have one more thing in Scratch. Remember that um, how to use the backpack in Scratch video? If you watched that, please remember to check that out right now after this video if you haven't watched it. So it's very important to use the backpack in Scratch. As you can see, there's a little backpack tool. So just uh, go to there, and that's where I put this firework. You don't have to do that because you can also download it or something. And then here's how the firework is gonna look like. Well, since the code is already there, I'm gonna show you how to make it, really. Really, I'm gonna show you, even though it has a, a sound. So um, on the sound category, I actually use as less sound as I can because it's not really, it kind of sounds like a firework, so yeah. The real symbol is actually like the C when I go to Scratch Channel and when I type symbol there. So it's kind of not like a fireworks. So now we're making the backdrop. Do you know where fireworks are? Or fireworks are in the dark. You don't have to put stars, but I'm just going to do it without stars since the fireworks are might be on the stars. So, um, Anyways, we're going to go ahead and paint backdrop and we're going to make it black. So we're going to make it a black backdrop. Even though if you put the uh, no out outline, then it won't show up here still because it's black, right? So we can drag this um, fireworks to a random position and we want to, it to keep showing and hiding itself. So at first, it's going to, uh, when the green flag is clicked, it's going to hide because we want it to show up after a few seconds, wait a, a little amount of seconds, and then it's gonna like blast in the sky. So as you can see, if I click the flag, it just hides. It's just hidden now. Even though it shows you like that, it's still hidden because if you try to drag it, it won't drag anywhere because see, only if it shows, you can drag it somewhere. So we're gonna be making it show after a few amount of seconds. So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna drag out a forever loop. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag out, we're gonna wait from, for a few amount of seconds, about 1.4 seconds, 1.4, put that in there. Now we wanted to actually, the fireworks to go to a random position and then we wanted to blast from there. Like um, on the 4th of July, when I went for, to the fireworks, I saw many fireworks and some were like, and others were like, boom. So um, if that sound hurts your ears, you can just reduce the volume a little bit, or maybe you can do some ear exercise or something. So uh, I hope you find a technique. So anyways, uh, 
fireworks are kind of loud, so it's going to go to a random position. Uh, when you go to the motion category, there will be this block called go to random position. You can change that to mouse pointer or a random position. If you do mouse pointer, then it's going to keep following your mouse every 1.4 seconds. So please do not do mouse pointer, just do random position so it doesn't have to follow your mouse. Okay, anyways. Now, we want the fireworks to actually be big or small. It's going to, the scratch is uh, your, or your computer, it's actually going to pick a random size, and then it's going to blast up in the sky. How do you want it to do that? Well, um, it's going to pick a random size. So, um, when you go to the looks category, there's this size called set size to 100. We don't want 100 because we're changing it. So, time for an operator. What's an operator when in... Well, in my last video, we were talking about operators or something. I think it was in my last video. Let me think. Yeah, I think it was my, in my last video. Okay, anyways, so drag out this block up, pick random. Don't pick any of these other blocks because they're not really used much. So anyways, now we are going to set it to, hmm, how about 15? in 200 because it's gonna pick size from it's to one in 10 then it's gonna be too small so anyways we're gonna put that right in i'll actually put this thing in the 100 thing like this circle and just shows right there and then you just put it in there as you can see okay now we're gonna make it uh actually change colors whenever it's blasting up even though when you click the stop sign it just changes back to its color so anyways we are going to be dragging out that so how do you make that well it's time for another pick random you can just drag it out to get ready and then go to look category and as you can see there is a change color effect by 25 drag that out and we are actually you don't have to do change color effect by 25 you're going to do set color effect to 25. If you want to just change the color effect by 25, you can do that if you want. Because when you try that, I don't think, you know, it's kind of like, uh, look, when I show it up, look what happens. It change color effect by zero and 200. Ah, zero two hundred. What is going on? <sighs> Wacky. Okay, as you can see, when I put it in there, look what happens. It's, I want to show it up. It just goes to random position. It just doesn't do anything. But it. If you want, you can do that because you're going to put pick random zero to 200 and you're going to put that in that circle again, then you can put it back. Okay, now we're going to do is we're going to make it show after that all that happens. Well, why do I want it to show like that? Well, it's because we have to play the symbol sound. Got it? Okay, so um, we want to play sound like, like that um, firework sound. So how to do that is... Well, um, drag out this show block and put it there. Well, you'll find it almost on the bottom of the looks category because I don't know why. It's supposed to be up so we can do it easier. Anyways, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the sound. So just go to sound category and drag out this play sound symbol and put that there. Now what we're gonna do is you're gonna hide that. Okay, so here is how it looks like. We are going to be doing this and the fireworks. So as you can see, it works. So as you can see, it's only like one firework. We want to see many fireworks, right? So we can do a few amount of them fireworks by just duplicating instead of using a backpack. That's how you can do it. I'll do at least five. See, when I click the flag, well, they like sometimes they go on top of each other. We want them to hide because they're doing it at the same time. How about we wait a few seconds for each one and then they're going to blast? So, um, 
For the second firework, what you're going to do is we're going to pull weight 0.5 seconds. For the third firework, we're going to wait, hmm, how many? Yeah, we can do a 0.5. 5. And what about the firework 4? Let's put that. And we're going to wait that same amount. And what about firework 5? Well, we are going to wait same amount. Okay, we're going to make a few blast out at the same time only for the like only for the first one it just blasts out in a different time. So um, if you want, you can do them at the same time, but I'm just doing what I want it to do. Okay, so as you can see. Okay, so that's our whole firework project. Can you believe it? So um, I hope you enjoyed this simple Scratch tutorial of mine on Learn Scratch. If you want to see more Learn Scratch videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, the like and notification bell and notification bell lets you see whatever all of your favorite videos anytime. It will just send you a message if I make a new video like this one. And um, if it's 4th of July for you, because I made this on, well, what was it? I made this in July 24th on Saturday. Because that's a free day. Every time I'm free because I have no school, even though I'm seven years old. Anyways, uh, for the for um the ones of you who are like India or something, like on 4th of July, if this video is still there, then you can celebrate with this amazing project that I made and I showed you today. So um, happy 4th of July. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Sorry.